chapter 10. The book of Matthew chapter 10. Please open your Bibles. We are going to read verse number 1. Please stand up with me as we read together. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples. Read it, read after me. And when we read again, and when he had called unto him his twelve disciples. He gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of disease. Sit down. This morning, Within the little time that we have, I will want you to listen with serious attention. I want you to listen diligently. The Bible says here, and when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits. To cast them out. To cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases, including COVID-19. I want you to listen very well this morning because it is very important that you understand what we call power. Jesus gave his disciples power. Man of God, come. I want you to everybody to look at me. If I want to give my pastor this envelope. I say, Pastor, this envelope I give unto you. Pastor, take this envelope. What did the pastor do? Uh, he received it. He received it. Thank you. Now, I want you to listen very well. Power, what is power? Power is what we call controlling influence. Because Jesus has all the power what the the uh, Greek in Greek dunamis. He has all the power to do and undo. That is true at day. So I want you to understand what is power. There are five different kinds of power. Number one is what we call the physical power. That is, they say this man, Kiliwi, that is the man has power. He can carry this thing on his head. He can carry so many things on his head. They say this man is very powerful. 
He can carry all the chairs on his head. They will say, this man is a powerful man. He has energy. He can carry a whole car. He can pull a whole car not to, to move. Then he has what we call physical power. I want you to listen. Number two, there's what we call academic power. That is, some people they have gone to primary school, they have gone to secondary school, they have gone to university, both in Nigeria and abroad, and they have obtained what we call PhD. And so, when they are talking, People listen to them because they have something here in their brain. So we call it academic power. This man is well learned. So when they when they have some things to do, maybe the president has something to do, they will hire them as consultant to investigate, to make some researches, to know whether what they are saying, uh, to have some findings, and then tell the government what to do. They say this man has academic power. Number three is what we call economic or financial power. Economic or financial power. So, this man, he has money. They say the man is very rich. Example is Dangote. They say Dangote is very rich. Is the wealthiest person in Africa. He has money. He has a company. He has this. He has this. So anytime you say Dangote, they say the man you respect him because he has financial power. Number four kind of power is what we call political power. For instance, the president of Nigeria. When he announces something, he is an authority. The moment he says this and this, they said this is what the president, the president has approved. But physically, if he's walking, you see him say, hey, is this man going to die? But when he put his signature on something, everybody in Nigeria must bow. We call it political power. Then there is the fifth power. We call it spiritual power. <laughs> Everybody say spiritual power. This is the power that Jesus handed over to his disciples. Listen to me. I want you to listen very well. If you have physical power, the man that has academic power is greater than you. Because some things you use your your energy to do, you can look at it and say, look, there is another way of carrying this thing without sweating. If you have academic power, the man that has Money power, economic power is greater than you. I learned that there was a, a town meeting. There was a meeting and they were trying to raise money. 
So one of the professors started analyzing how they are going to raise the money. That if uh, we contribute five, five thousand, ten, ten thousand, one, one thousand, one million thousand, one uh, every day. He, he was analyzing, and the people were very happy. Then one small boy there, who is a businessman, he said, "How much are you waiting for?" They said, ten million. He now wrote a check, ten million. I, I gave, I gave to them. Everybody started clapping hard. Outside, I said, "Magana, you carry everything. Don't finish." Are you listening to what I'm saying? The man who was talking and talking, the man who was talking and talking, and the man who wrote check, which one is more powerful? Eh? That's it. Now. Then, both physical, academic, and economic financial power. Even if you have 20 PhD, and you are a University of Lagos, and Buhari just sent a message, I want to see you within the next three hours in Abuja. What do you think you will do? Quick, quick. You will abandon everything. I want to see Abuja. I'm going to Abuja. I'm going to see President. I'm going to see President. I'm going to see, going to see Mr. President. <laughs> are you listening to what I'm saying? How many of you are understanding what I'm saying? Why? Because he has the political power. He can deal with you. If you have all, if he, he can tell Dangote today, I say, Dangote, enough is enough. We don't want you. That is the power invested upon the president of a nation. Then, the, so, that is the president has power over the man that has financial power, academic power, physical power. But the man that has spiritual power over all the powers of darkness who has power over COVID-19 is who? God. God. He has all the power. He has power over all the president of all the countries in the world. He has power over the sun. He has power over the moon. He has power over the ocean. He has power over all human beings. He has power over witches and wizards. He has power over every living and non-living thing. He is the one. If you read your Bible, he said, and when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he called them unto himself. Look at the Bible. Number one, he called them to himself. And gave them what? And gave them the power over unclean spirits. He gave them power over every unclean spirit. Dirty spirit. Spirit that will not allow you to sleep. Spirit of fear. Spirit of emory. Of married spirits. He gave them power. The disciples. Over all of clear spirits. Number two. 
The Bible says he gave them power against this unclean spirit. He first of all called them to himself. And he gave them power against all unclean spirits. That's what the Bible says. I'm not just talking from my head. And when he had called all to him, these 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out. Hmm. God, the spirit that did not have not been allowed you to sleep. Oh, the spirit that is making you to commit fornication and adultery. Oh, the spirit of sicknesses and diseases. Oh, the spirit of sadness and sorrow. Oh, the spirit of unemployment. Oh, the spirit of poverty. Oh, the spirit of loneliness. Oh, the spirit of discouragement. He gave the apostles power. I send them away. These people, they did not go to any university. They didn't have political power. They didn't have physical power. They didn't have academic power. They didn't have financial power. They didn't have political power. But he gave them what? What did he give them? Spiritual power. And he didn't give them money. He said, anywhere you go, if you are hungry, just knock at the door and said, look, I need food here. He said, anybody that gives you food is very fortunate for releasing what is in his hand or her hand to you. That is fortunate. And whatever you declare unto that person is going to come to pass. Brothers and sisters, this power he gave to his apostles and he gave also to the church today. So when people are afraid of some things, I used to laugh. Why are you afraid? They say, ah, oh, if you see the dream I had, hey, I saw one vision, I saw something, and then, hey, and then one first prophet will tell them, hey, madam, you are about to die. Deceiving you, deceiving people. Whereas if you are a child of God and God has called you and God has called you and you are born again child of God and your name is in the book of life the, the, he has called you and chosen you and gave you power spiritual power over poverty over poverty over sickness over unclean spirit you know I like one thing the Bible says and he gave the power to heal all manner of sicknesses including COVID-19 are you listening to what I'm saying Jesus himself when Lazarus was dead for four days Lazarus was dead for four days. Jesus said to his disciples, he said he was sleeping, that is not dead. And when they put him at the sepulchre or at, at, at the burial ground, he went there and said, Lazarus, wake up. And the disciples were there. They were watching. That is the same. The power to raise the dead. The power to raise the dead. Jesus gave this power to his disciples. 
Look at what he says. That he, he says all manner, all kind of sickness, including COVID-19. You know, if only God can provide me food, if only God can just heal me, if only God, God can just have mercy, if only God. <laughs> Let me tell you, Jesus has all the power. All is all in all. He's Alpha and Omega. He is your defender. He is the beginning and the end. He is the author of all authority. He is the ancient of days. He is the I am that I am. He is the fountain of life. He is the A B C to Z. All power belongs to Jesus. Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? You have nothing to be afraid. I said, well, you know, I can't go to church because of COVID-19. And I know this. What is COVID-19? Are you telling me that Jesus cannot heal COVID-19? He said, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the self-sufficient God. He is the self-existing God. He is the omnipotent God. He is the omniscient God. He is the omnipotent, omnipower, omni everything. He is name is Jesus, the Son of the Living God. He's dead, dead, dead. Try to hold him in the cemetery, and Jesus, Jesus said, "Death, where is your sting? Death, where's your smell? Death, where's your power?" And on the third day, he resurrected. And he collected the key of sicknesses, the key of poverty, the key of lust, the key of sorrow, the key of defeat, the key, the key of every broken bone, the key of lack, the key of disgrace and shame, the key was handed over to Jesus. And he said, all power in heaven and earth belongs to me. There's some of you, why well, you don't have one, one small dream? <laughs> if you see, if you see what I'm passing through, if you see, what are you passing through? What are you passing through? Instead of you to wake up, I say, devil, you are a liar. All power has been given unto me. Get out! Tell the devil, govern on you. What are you? What is that secret in your body? What is that demon that has been disturbing you? I tell you by the authority conferred upon me this morning, those demons they are strangers in your body. And Tulasi by Tulanga, by force, they must come out of you. One woman came to me. He said, <laughs> Daddy, I have been dreaming of death, 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 death. This is how my sister dreamt and died, died, died and died. This is what this one did and died. I was telling me all kind of stories so that I will know the gravity of his of her dream. I said, is death? I ask her, is death the power of death? Is it greater than the power of Jesus? The power of death. The man that said, I have conquered the power of death. Is it greater than? This dream that you have had. <laughs> if you understand, you know, I told you, I told you know, you can see demon of unbelief. You can see demon of unbelief. So people, they are only religion, religion. I fast once in a month. I do dry fasting. I go to this thing. I pay my tithe. I go to the mountain. Look, those are religion. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and life. He didn't say, I am 
the way the, the, the truth are dead. Did he say that? He said life. 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 God created you not for COVID 19 to kill you. God created you for you to live an abundant life. For you to live an assurance life. To live, Jesus is your anchor. He is your anchor. He is the author of all authorities. He is the author of heaven and earth. He is the one that made all the stars and all the animals in the sea and all the fish and everything that you can see. What microbiology will discover. Jesus is the one that made all these things. And he handed over the power to the disciples. And I like what the Bible says. He said, look, he said, and he gave them power to heal all manner of sicknesses. Then if you go to verse 7, and he gave them power to preach the gospel, that is when you go to all those villages when I was young let me tell you a story as a young pastor a young man a young, a young child of God I was lecturing in Kaduna Polytechnic and, uh, I used to carry students to the bush to go and do evangelism so we went to one village in Kaduna State so, and they were idol worshippers. They challenged us. The chief called me. And he called one of the boys that could speak outside very well. He said, you are talking about Jesus, Jesus. This Jesus, we have not heard about him. But we have, if this Jesus, he said, there's a woman here. He said, I've been pregnant for 12 months. And you can see that we, we don't have no road here. We can't carry this woman to the hospital. And this woman is almost dying. He said, if this woman can give back, then the whole of this village will return to your Jesus. This was student of Cardinal Polytechnic. This student was from Polytechnic and we went there, he went there with me. I said, it's okay. We started to pray. We started to pray. When we were praying, I want you to listen very well. It was when we were praying, the head of the witches there, the witch doctors there, he started shouting. Ah. He was just shouting. The more we pray, he said, and then he was talking in Alsa. They said, Some people have come to this time, oh, and they have destroyed my, my medicine. I said, Why, why that man cried? They said, He's called and said that they, they have destroyed his medicine. Not knowing that is that which doctor that tied the womb of this woman that did not allow the woman to give birth freely. That evening, that very evening, we pray, 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 pray. The woman did not give birth. I said, I cannot keep this student to evening. I said, the poor. That send us here. I don't know the time I mentioned. I said by this time, this baby is coming out. Let us go. And we went. Exactly that time. That woman gave birth. Today, a Baptist church, a Baptist church is built in that village. They say we should go, we should come and build church. We say no, we are for evangelism. And then we connected them with a Baptist church, and a church was built there. You see, some of us we like religion. 
Some of us will like religion. I like I need a Okay, no, just uh, touch me. <laughs> just anoint me. Just this thing. Jesus said, All power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Are we together? I don't, you see, there are all kinds of powers. Power of sickness. Hey, if you see my back, hey, if you see this, uh, in fact, if you see diabetics, uh, if you see, can I, uh, you know, emphysema, uh, if you see this, okay, no, those, what is keeping them there? The Bible said they are unclean spirits. And Jesus gave these people power against unclean spirit to cast them off. That is why, by the grace of God, anywhere God has ever sent me, I cast out devils. That was the first thing, that was the first assignment. That was the first assignment Jesus gave to the church. Go and cast them out. He didn't say, Come on, uh, singing. Oh Lord, God gonna bless you. Gonna bless you. He said, Go and go and what? He said, Go and cast out demons. And what Jesus said, A clean spirit. He said, Heal or if we read verse 8, can somebody read verse 8 for me? Quickly, at their Bible opener, verse 8, verse 8, verse 8. Kura Bakashanda Rabakapola. Oh, God, I have pastors here. They cannot read open Bible. Matthew 10, 8. Heal the word. Raise the dead. That's it. And what? Cast out demons. And what? That's it. He said, raise the dead. The dead. That's what he said. That's what, that's the assignment of the church. He's not going to go from her. God bless me. God bless me. God bless. He said, go to buy ways. Okay? Go to buy ways. The moment it's any, you are supposed to be knocking at the door. When you go to someone, when you law, the first thing you are supposed to ask, is there any sick person here? Is there any demon, somebody possessed with demon here? They say, yes, there's somebody here. They say, pray. Then you now say, in the name of Jesus Christ of God, come out! That's what we are supposed to do. Not that you wait until the next Sunday, or the next Sunday, bring your time, bring your offering, bring all this and all those things. Those things are good, but our primary objective as children of God is to win souls. And we cannot win souls in the modern world without sense and wonder following us. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to close now. One day, I went to the village. One bishop came to my house. Bishop, bishop, not Woli. Very good. He said, I want to see you. It's far, far older than me. He said, maybe, I don't know whether your father told you. He was talking to me now. I didn't know whether your father told you. He said, when he was young, when he was young, this bishop was talking to me, that one boy died. And they were carrying this boy to the burial ground. And your father Josiah, he was talking to me, my father Josiah, made the people say, Stop! And they removed the coffin. And people were laughing at my father. The people were laughing at my father. My, they were laughing. He said, My father knelt down. 
had come and said, Lord, that God, that all this town, they may know that you are the same yesterday to die forever. I commanded and said, You boy, rise up. And the boy started to sneak. <laughs> I said, my father did not tell me now. He said, go and find out from elders. I'm not lying. He said, when I heard that you are coming to do crusade here, he said, ah, his father must have laid hand on him. He said, that thing, I just remember, I just remember. He said, that's why I have come to tell you. He said, God has sent you. He said, God has sent you. He said, my boy, continue. And he prayed for me. And left. Some of you, you don't know what you have in this church. We don't know at all. During this COVID-19, I saw miracles. And even up to today, even this morning, one sister came to me. He said, sir, he said what God has done for me and my family. He started giving me testimony. This is what, this is what God did. This is what God did. What did this God? Why? She put demand on the anointing of, the, of her general overseer. So people, they are, they are only just church. Oh, they wait at the door. They are looking for sister. I know her since yesterday. I know chop. Yesterday, I know chop. You have five naira there. I know get transport. They are beggars. They go and look for people that are rich in the church. And then I'll be complaining. <laughs> look, God that gave you power against poverty you are not a beggar hey, do I, you know how some people say do I like, you know, give me one naira give me this you, you see them in Lagos now they just be, be breaking all this and that and some people have carried that spirit to church uh, if I am not going to be able to pay my house rent so, uh, brother, if you can help me, uh, instead of you to, to kneel down or come to the altar, the, the, the sister, the sister that gave me testimony this morning, he said, "Sir, I had one challenge, and I came." He said, "I left my house 4 a.m. and I knelt at this altar and said that God of Moses or Madan is he said God had done it." You see, put the man of the anointing. Don't say, uh, uh, who will help me? Uh, this brother. And uh, Sokoto, uh, they, they not help me. They know they know anybody here. They, you know, complain, complain. Are you to laugh? People have told me, say, I will not help you. I say, are you to laugh? Said, no, 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 I can't show my promise. I just laugh. <laughs> and you don't laugh. Because, you see, the Bible says, they that know their God, they that know their God, it said they shall be strong and do exploits. There's one song I want to teach you before I stop. I have the power of God in me. I have the power of God in me. I have the spirit of the king of kings. I have the power of God in me. Shall we rise to sing it? I have the power of God in me. I have, I have the, the power of God in me. me. I have the spirit of the Lamb of God. I have the light of God in me. I have the light. I have the power of God in me. I have the 
the light of God in me. I have the spirit of the Son of God. I have the light of God in me. I have the light. I have the light of God in me. I have the light of God in me. I have the spirit of the Son of God. I want you to point to somebody. I say, You have the power of God in you. You have the power of God in you. You have, you have the power of the Son of God. You have the power of God in you. You have the power of God in you. You have the power of God in you. You have the spirit of the Son of God. You have the power of God in you. I have the power of God in you. You have the power of God. I have the power of God in me. I have the power of God in me. I have the say it to yourself. Let Moses carry your You have the power of God in you. I have the power of God in me. You have the power. I have the power of God in me. You have power over COVID. Nothing. You have the power. You have the authority. You have the spirit of God. You have nothing to fear. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. I don't want clamping. No, 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 no. I'm not here for clamping. If you want to climb, you climb for Jesus. Not for Moses. I'm here for business. Because there are some people that are under oppression. You know Satan have been oppressing you. And demons have been oppressing you. During this COVID, you 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 live a bit tormented by demons, all kind of dreams and all kind of fornication and all kind of sin and then pornography, all kind of broken heart. Your heart is already broken. And you look here and there. Money, no money. Business, no business. Fruit of the womb, no fruit of the womb. Husband, no husband. No friend. Nobody. Then you say, Who begin to cry? Jesus has come. I say, my daughter, my daughter, thou shalt weep no more. Thou shalt weep no more in the name of Jesus. You will not weep again. Jesus is wiping away your tears. This morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. You know that unclean spirit have been disturbing you come up here. Unclean spirit. Don't get, don't get yourself too close. Okay? You know unclean spirit have been disturbing you. Come here. Now. I don't have time. Oh. If you don't come, it's in your palaba. This is uh, the anointing. The, 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 the anointing is moving my body now. Don't please organize them very well. I don't want them to get close. Are you with me? Pastors, those of us that I organize them very well. Don't come too close. Don't come too close. Okay? God, not, not many people have faith. There's some of us, poverty is killing some of us. Some of us, all kind of depression and bad habit and cheating and all kind of things have been disturbing our lives. 
Some of you can you don't rise. There's nothing. You, you put your hand here. What? You put your hair. What? You put your hair. Nothing. That is a spirit. That is a spirit of poverty. Then you have to beg. You beg for tomato. Be- beg for pepper. Beg for salt. Beg for everything. For how long? That is a spirit. It's an unclean spirit. The unclean spirit of fear. And there are some of you. That's why we are, we, are, we are going to pray next week for our youth. There are some of your parents. You pay school fee, pay school fee. You cannot pass any exam. Don't, 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 don't. When your guy is teaching, you'll be sleeping. Right? We're going to please arrange them very well. I don't want them to stay closer. I want you to know something. That Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. There are some of you where you get where you get money. Where you get money. That is the time Wahala will come. If the first one will be sick, another one will be sick. All kinds of problems. This morning, strangers are going to fade out of their closet. Stranger, whether they like it or not. Because look at what Jesus said. And when he had called unto him, his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. That was Jesus did. I want you to talk to God. Those of you that are kneeling down here, see every unclean spirit in my body, every unclean spirit, ask Jesus, ask Jesus to draw them away. And those of you that are there, you better be praying. You have to be in the spirit because when those demons are coming out, they are looking for bodies to enter. They are looking for bodies to enter. When you command and say, come out, they are looking for somewhere to go. So if you are the type that is just looking, no, if you are the one, you are just looking and opening your mouth, the demon will just enter. That's why you have to be praying. And be in the spirit. And be in the spirit. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus name we pray. Those of you Lily, I don't want to keep you long. Open your eyes and look at me. I'm going to command. I'm going to command right now. We are going to instruct those demons. Whether it is sickness. Whether it is disease. Whether it is bad dream. Whether it's lost, no, whether it's poverty, I tell you, I stand here as a pastor. I stand here as a prophet. There are going to be a definite change. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and I want a big amen. I want some people who cannot even say amen. Why do you come to church? I want a very big amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh 
Are you a clean spirit? Back your load. For this purpose. For this purpose. I command you. Begin to leave. Right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your amen is too low. Only few of them are coming up. Only few. I see some of them flying up and down here. And they are roaming. They are roaming around. Look at what the Bible says. And when he has called unto him, his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. Every sickness, every disease, every symptom of COVID-19 every sickness that has to do with HIV virus every spirit in charge of syphilis every spirit of hypertension high blood pressure every spirit of diabetics every spirit of heart condition Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. And go to Atlantic Ocean now. Go and stay at the bottom of Atlantic Ocean. In the name of God the Father. Go on the Son. You spirit of witchcraft. Witchcraft. Every witchcraft spell that has been making mark in your body, I command them come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness, every backache. Every toothache, every migraine headache, I command you, come out in the name of Jesus Christ and go to abyss in the mighty name of Jesus. Go to abyss in the mighty name of Jesus. There is somebody here, you are just gaining weight, robot. It's not normal. It's a clean spirit. Bind every spirit of excessive gain of weight. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every challenge that you are facing, failure mechanism, all kind of terrible, horrible dream. I challenge you. I command those spirit to be expelled now. Go in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 And you have no right to come back again. Go and come back no more. And I command the spirit. Spirit of love. Spirit of power. Spirit of prosperity. Spirit of faith. Spirit of holiness. Spirit of understanding. Spirit of prosperity. To enter you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will give you testimony. The Lord shall give you testimony. I command healing. If any of you here, you are sick, you put your hand on your head. Anyone. I command divine healing. 
Receive your healing now in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive your divine healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' most powerful name, we pray. Amen. 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 Fire. Stand up. If you have chance, because we don't want to be keeping people late. 